Okay. So I saw this post on Reddit a while ago, and it's actually really easy to figure to read. The creator of this video he explained what he did, and I'm going to explain uh, very uh, in detail uh, how to do it in a way that's hopefully easy to follow for anyone. So here's my result. I did it with just a single bone and the boolean function and the wiggle bone add-on to make this. So I seen people do it more than one bone and mine worked with just one. So I used two add-ons, the wiggle bone add-on and the boo tool one. Boo tool comes with blender, so all I have to do is enable it. It's going to make, just make things simpler, you don't actually need it, but it just goes faster. So here I'm just showing a little bit the, the geometry of the, the juice and the, the cup. It's pretty simple. First what I do is create like the cage of the, the boolean. So we're just going to take the space of the inside of the cup and I stretch out, I, I copy the juice and I stretch it out. Here for the juice, I'm going to stretch it out uh, horizontally because due to the rotation of the bone, you want it to keep it like a straight line of the liquid. So it goes beyond the cup. So when it rotates, it keeps the, the top of the liquid straight. Basically. You're going to use the Bluetooth function, select the, the boolean and the, the juice, and use the int brush intersect function. This way, it doesn't apply the, the boolean modifier right away. And so you can deform, the, deform and move the liquid and it's going to retain the, the limits of the, the boolean cage. Now I'm going to add the, the bone, but I'm just fixing the, the position of the cup and the liquid because it was off center. So just a little fix. Now a little issue happened with my with this project because I did the parenting after the the boolean and this happens this only happens when i move the the the, the bone and it's, it just, it just happens because the the order of the modifiers is wrong you should first do the the armature modifier first and then the boolean this way it fixes the problem i had to do a little troubleshooting later on the video to figure it out but uh moving the bone works but moving the moving the armature works but moving just the bone does so just a little thing to keep in mind later i tried to check to see if it was a problem with the weights because i use the automatic weights thing but the issue was the order of the modifiers now i'm parenting the bone and the the boolean to the glass and I enable the wiggle bone add-on. And it doesn't work right away to me because this is the second time I did it in the same project file. And the wiggle bone add-on, it, it needs to reset the wiggle armature setting to make it work again for some reason. So I'm just trying to figure out what's happening right now, but that's the issue. So we just have to, in case you're doing multiple wiggle bones in the same project with different armatures and, and stuff, you might need to disable and re-enable the, the wiggle armature setting. And now all you need to do is just tweak the settings of the wiggle bone. Uh, it's good to remove the, the stretching. 
and maybe limit the the bone rotation. Here's the the website for the where to download the wiggle bone. Everything done that I'm using I'm putting on the description for you to, to easily download. There seems to be a issue with the additive bake for the Blender 3.0 version. And here I'm just showing at the end of the this this thread that some people are having issues with the, the baking in the new blender. And the guy, this Stief, is the one that made the add-on. And basically all you have to do is to here in the wiggle bone settings, uh, you disable the additive bake and it should work. 